What's up guys, how are you doing today? Um, I'm outside, that's a first. <laughs> Anyways, um, today I wanted to record a different video for you guys, cause like, um, I just wanted to change the scenery, you know what I'm saying, so that's why I'm outside. Um, basically, I wanted to talk to you guys about a lot of stuff that you guys been messaging me a lot on Snapchat and I want to tell you some stuff about myself and maybe the stuff that I tell you can help you in the future or like you can relate to it hopefully but you know Oh my so cute! Oh. <laughs> Doggy attack! Okay. Anyways those are strangers but that was really freaking cute it's crazy out here. Um, if you guys didn't know, I live by myself. I don't... I'm just kidding, they're just barking. Nothing happened, nothing happened. The dogs, no animals got hurt in this video, in the making of this video. Most of you guys have been telling me, like, stuff about your life that has been hurting you or like has been troubling you well let me tell you something uh, if you guys want to know a little bit about me i uh live by myself i've been living by myself for like two years now two years cars i've been living by myself for two years now and like it, at the beginning it was really hard for me to live by myself because i miss my family i'm actually from I'm actually from New Jersey, so I'm not used to living to this in, in a city because I was, I grew up in a neighborhood like, like this, that looks like this. Similar to this, without the palm trees, more grassy areas and more grass and just more nature and stuff. Basically, hold on, let me put the camera somewhere. Let me put the camera somewhere so that I don't have to keep holding it. One sec, one sec. I need a new place because there's no place around here to stand my freaking camera, so I'm looking, hang on, hang on. Uh, fuck. Okay, I legit left like my cameras on a car, on a stranger's car. I hope I don't get in trouble. I've been living in California for the past like two years by myself. Like if you need somebody to tell tell you if you're alone, tell me because I've been living by myself for like, two years since I was 18. <sighs> the guy didn't want my camera on top of this car, so he told me to go. Damn, looking for a place to vlog is pretty hard. Damn, okay, hang on. All right, I'm just gonna keep talking because like I need to find a spot, so while I'm just looking for a spot, I'll still talk. Um, so, as I was saying, I moved to, I moved to uh, California when I was really young, when I was 18. As soon as I graduated high school, I could not be, I was like, I, I couldn't imagine me going to LA by myself and living there. Um, I had to take all my stuff from my room, shipped it all the way to LA, and I had no friends, no family, because I was going to college there to study, to study sound, engineer, sound engineering. Look at the moon. Ooh. Look at that moon. Okay. Any, any woozies. Um, because of that, I needed to, I needed to basically get used to myself being alone. I had to adjust not seeing my family, I had to do everything by myself. Not that I never did anything by myself when I was living with my family, it was just really hard, you know? And I had to make friends, I had to meet new types of people, I had to do all these crazy things. And it was, it was scary, I'm not gonna lie, I was really, really scared. Most of you guys have been telling me to like, you know, like you guys have been telling me you guys are depressed and 
you guys are like going through bad things like problems with your families and look whatever you go through in your life you always have to distract yourself especially when trying to get over something because no matter what you do time is the only thing that's going to be able to help you that's how that's how i was able to get be able to adjust and like be able to stay here by myself and make new friends because at the beginning i was scared i cried so many times for so many days um so many months because it was just like I, I lived my whole life with my family me not seeing them for like months and months and months living across the country it was it was hard it was really hard i guess i finally found a spot time is the only thing that Time is the only thing that's really gonna help you get over your problems, especially if you're trying to get over something. Because no matter what you do, sometimes people go through some really hurtful things in their life and they can't get over it as easy as other people can. And that's why you need time. Best way to do it is to get over it by doing stuff that you love, distracting yourself. That's what I always do. And this is not a video of me giving advice or talking about depression. This is just me trying to tell you things that I went through that can probably you can relate to and like it can help you so you can probably figure out an idea to fix like you know something you're going through or getting like getting over something you're going through but yeah like my life is not perfect you know there, there's been a lot of stuff that's happened in my life and it's just like I needed I needed to do so many things to just keep myself occupied going to college doing this doing that like I'm 20 now you know it's been two years um, you know, just do going to the gym and just do, doing, you know, play, like when I get sad or something bad is happening to me, I play music. Like music, I write music, I write songs, I compose things, like all kinds of stuff. You know, I do a lot of different things and, you know, even, you know, sometimes even hanging out with your friends is okay. Being with your family is okay. Everybody has many stories, many, many, many stories to talk about and like everybody is not the same and some people take things more hard than others and some people is just like, it's all different and I, I'm not you know there's so many stories and so many things going on so like this is just me trying to help you once again like so you can get over your problems that you're going through or if you're feeling lonely or you're feeling like nobody uh, like understands you and you're just really lonely and um but I'm not trying to make this like a sad video or anything like that um I'm trying to just help you you know <laughs> And, and you know, it makes me happy that, you know, some of you guys have actually messaged me and told me that, you know, watching me on you now or like watching my YouTube videos, have, like after have, having a bad day helps you feel better. And that for me is like the best thing ever. That makes actually me even happier because, you know, my life is not always about happiness and joy. Try figuring out stuff that you love or passion or things you're passionate about. Like I'm passionate about music. Again, I I play music, I sing and stuff, which I love. It's a way I can release all my stress and anxiety that I sometimes have with certain different things. Or if I'm trying to get over some, if I'm trying to get over something, you know. Uh, one of the big biggest things that can actually help is if you do exercise. If you just go to the gym or just run around, you know, run around. <laughs> Look at me, loser. You know that stuff. Um, there's a lot of cars today. I <laughs> As I was saying, yeah, running, singing, anything, painting. Like, I, I know somebody that when she, like, I knew somebody, I knew a friend that, like, when she got upset, she, she sang, she paints, you know? She paints, she paints what she's feeling, and it's just like that you have to distract yourself that's the best way that's the best way <laughs> um, oh one thing I really want to tell you guys is never ever ever hold your pain in because that is the worst thing you can do I've seen my friends gone through it I've done it before and that's how I learned not to do it again if you hold your pain and especially if you you're alone and you don't have a lot of friends or you just don't want to talk to anybody because you feel like they don't understand you I don't care you have to let that pain out because you if you're alone you cannot be alone if, especially if you're like going through some up shit in your life because if you hold everything in the more you the more you're by yourself in your room the more you think about it the more you go crazy the more you start overthinking and imagining things and just eventually it's just gonna kick it and then you're gonna start like hurting yourself and then you're gonna go insane it's terrible you need you can't hold that in sometimes you need to let it out and it's okay to cry i cry i admit that i've cried many times over things i've been upset about you can you need to release some of that pain sometimes you can't let that stay 
and that's the best and the best way to do that is just talk to someone that cares about you and I just I know y'all some of you guys are lying because I get messages and say oh my god no one cares about me no one does this no one does that no one understands how I feel they don't care my parents don't care okay first of all one quick thing if your parents don't like you then why the heck do they you live in their house and why the heck do you live in their house why are you still living and breathing? Why haven't you, you know, been starving lately? How come you actually had a dinner last night? How come you actually have your own bed? How, how come you actually have a room and people buy, you know, your parents clearly care about you. You know, I wouldn't let my kid go through any of that stuff. I would like to be there for them, you know? Uh, for any kid, uh, if, uh, no matter how many kids I have, you know? The thing is, they do care about you. You guys just don't know because you never had the opportunity to actually talk to them. And a lot of people tell me that. Like, they just, they, they always say, oh my God, they don't care about me and blah, blah, blah. They do, okay? But whether you think so or not, they do, you know? Like, if they're trying to kill you with a freaking machete and chop your head off and bury you in the freaking ground, then I get that. But if they're not doing that, then okay? And another thing, some people go, oh my god, my parents don't understand. We'll make them understand. Actually sit down with them and talk to them and cry if you have to. Tell, express your feelings to them because then they'll do anything in their power to help their kid. Because, you know, y'all, you guys are just so used to going to your friends and, and you think your friends are going to make everything better. No. Okay? Because your friends are not, you know, some friends, people come and go as you get older. No matter whether you like it or not. Hell no. Anyways, I beat that guy up. Um, so, you know, your friend, don't go to your friends. A lot of teenagers do that these days and they don't, like, it's just go to your parents, trust me. And if you're closer to your mom, go to your mom. If you're closer to your dad, go to your dad. It doesn't matter. Just go to one of them, okay, guys? And, you know, I care about you guys so much and I don't want you guys upset. Whoa. I just saw, like, a green light go, like, you see that? You saw that, guys? See so, ya, yeah, guys. Um, I'm a chinchilla. Okay. Um, it's night time, and I don't want to get like in trouble by the cops or whatever. I'm in a neighborhood. So yeah, guys. Make sure to like it up, comment. You already know. Turn on post notifications, and all my no all my all my social media will be in the description below. So make sure to follow me on everything. And to all you guys who are going through these things, you know, things. Just remember this. Last thing from before I go. Things never stay the same. So, you know, not everything is gonna last forever, okay? So don't think that, you know, it might seem like a long time, but it won't, it won't stay like that forever, you know what I'm saying? So things will always get better. Just let time go through it and be strong and try to make your life as happy as you can, okay guys? Don't be sad, be happy. Guys, good night, good morning, wherever you guys are, peace out.